Hey guys, ever wondered how Iran built a destroyer under heavy sanctions? Today we are diving deep into the Jamaran, a true game changer. We will uncover all the secrets, weapons, and operations of this steel piece. Stick around until the end because I have some mind-blowing info for you. The Jamaran is the very first example of the Muj class design. It stands as a massive symbol of self-sufficiency for the Iranian Navy. Just imagine how hard it is to build such complex tech alone. This project proved that Iranian engineers could truly make the impossible possible. The story began back in 2010 when Jamaran was officially launched. The ceremony included top leadership, showing just how important this project was. It took years to transform those complex blueprints into a steel reality. Jamaran's arrival in the Southern Fleet was like fresh blood in its veins. There is always a debate. Is Jamaran a destroyer or a heavy frigate? By global standards, it's a frigate. But in Iran, it's a destroyer. The name really doesn't matter. What matters is what this ship does. Weighing about 1,500 tons, Jamaran is actually a very agile combat vessel. Let me throw some specific numbers at you so you get the scale. The length of this ship is about 94 meters, which is impressive. The hull width is around 11 meters, providing great stability on the waves. Its speed reaches up to 30 knots, perfect for rapid naval operations. The beating heart of the Jamaran consists of two powerful diesel engines. These engines generate thousands of horsepower to drive the heavy propeller shafts. This raw power allows the heavy metal structure to glide effortlessly. Engineering the engine room was one of the most complex parts of construction. This ship serves as a floating home to about 140 personnel. Living out at sea for long months is definitely not an easy task. The living quarters and facilities were designed to accommodate this large crew. Coordinating so many people in a confined space is truly a great art. Jamaran's eyes are its advanced radar systems that monitor absolutely everything. The Asser Phased Array Radar is a key sensor installed on board. This radar can identify aerial and surface targets from very long distances. It also carries electronic warfare systems to jam and blind enemy radars. Now let's get to the exciting part, the deadly weapons of Jamaran. On the bow sits a 76mm Fajar 27 automatic naval gun. This fully automated cannon can fire at the enemy with high speed. It is effective against other ships and also against low-flying air targets. The main punch comes from newer and Kader anti-ship cruise missiles, guys. There are four box launchers on the deck locked and ready to fire. These missiles have long range and can sink any vessel in the sea. Their high accuracy make them a total nightmare for any naval enemy. For defense against airplanes and missiles, Jamaran is certainly not sitting idle. The Marab Air Defense Missile System is installed, featuring some cool tech. These are essentially upgraded versions of the standard missile, adapted for modern threats. The security of the sky above the destroyer is secured by this system. The danger of submarines is always real, but Jamaran is prepared. Two triple-tube torpedo launchers are mounted on both sides of the ship. These 324mm torpedoes are absolute killers for enemy subs. Underwater sonars help the crew listen for submarine sounds very quickly. Recently, a close-in weapon system called Kamond was tested on Jamaran. This system looks like the American Phalanx and uses a high-speed rotary gun. Its job is to destroy cruise missiles that get too close to the ship. This is the vital last line of defense for survival in war. One of the great features of Jamaran is the helicopter landing pad. Bell 212 helicopters can easily land and take off from this deck. This capability is crucial for reconnaissance missions and search and rescue ops. Having a chopper extends the destroyer's operational radius by many kilometers. The main goal of building Jamaran was protecting maritime borders and shipping lanes. Iran wanted to show it doesn't need foreigners for its sea security. Escorting commercial ships and oil tankers is another one of its primary duties. Sailing in open waters and showing the Iranian flag was also a goal. Jamaran has been deployed to the Gulf of Aden to fight pirates. During these missions, it saved dozens of merchant ships from pirate attacks. These operations proved Jamaran isn't just a model, it's a real warrior. Long-term presence in distant seas proved the endurance of this ship. Don't think that everything was perfect and flawless from day one. Over the years, Jamaran has been repaired and updated many times. They installed newer radars and modern weapon systems to make it stronger. Operational experiences helped engineers find the bugs and fix them effectively. Jamaran is the big brother to other Muj-class ships like Sahand. The experience of building Jamaran allowed subsequent ships to be more advanced. 
The Jamaran Hall became the main template for future naval projects. You could say Jamaran is the father of modern Iranian destroyers. Modern war isn't just guns, electronic warfare is the real deal today. Jamaran has chaff and flare systems to distract and decoy incoming missiles. It also has electronic listening systems to monitor enemy communications and signals. This part of its capabilities is usually classified and rarely spoken about. Building Jamaran changed the power balance in the Persian Gulf significantly. Regional countries realized Iran had mastered the tech to build warships. This has huge strategic importance for the defensive deterrence of the country. The message was clear, we will secure the Persian Gulf ourselves. Maintaining such a giant beast is expensive and needs high expertise. Technical personnel are constantly checking its systems to ensure everything works. Saltwater corrosion is the main enemy of the hull that needs control. Periodic overhauls ensure that Jamaran remains ready for battle at all times. Jamaran has had massive coverage in both domestic and foreign media outlets. It became a symbol of we can and appeared on stamps and posters. Iranian people feel a sense of national pride when hearing its name. This ship is far more than a weapon. It is a national symbol. Let's be realistic. Jamaran has weaknesses compared to modern global destroyers. For example, its hull design isn't very stealthy against enemy radar. Its air defense system isn't designed for very long-range engagements either. But considering the sanctions, it is truly an engineering masterpiece, guys. What is the future for Jamaran? Surely more upgrades await this old ship. Perhaps in the future, vertical launch systems will be installed on it. Jamaran is set to serve as a flagship for many more years. The experience gained here opens the path for heavier destroyer projects. Well guys, that was the roller coaster story of Iran's Jamaran Destroyer. I hope you enjoyed this detailed technical review and found it useful. If you like this style of video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Write in the comments which ship should we review in the next video.